Hey guys, welcome back. Today I've got a new product from Liddy RC. This is the latest L15HF 5.8 uh, FPV quadcopter. You can see it's a X5SW looking quadcopter, like many of those uh, clones out there on the market. But this one has a bit of a difference with it being full FPV via the 5.8 gigahertz uh, frequency. Plus it has a 720p camera on board, not the one in the picture. Uh, when this uh, this arrived, it, it didn't um, came in the updated box. It, it came in the Wi-Fi version uh, box here. So um, when you receive it, they obviously um, haven't updated the box on this one as it's a new release. So I'll quickly get into it, cover the contents of the, uh, the package, what you get, and um, we'll have a quick look and then I'll take it for a test fly. Hey guys, I'll quickly run through what's in the box. Firstly, you get a user manual in both English and Chinese. Um, here, are the, here are all the controls of the, uh, of the transmitter. I'll just leave a screenshot there for you right now. So there's the three different models you can get. This would be the fourth. Um, this user manual doesn't cover this actual 5.8 gigahertz FPV model as there is no um, instructions relating to the FPV monitor and such. The transmitter takes four AA batteries. Basic instructions here, it's only a few pages long guys. Covers the um, one key return, headless mode function. It's got altitude hold as well. Okay, so very basic instruction. That's the Chinese part. It's only a couple of pages. So you get the four extra set of props and the USB charger to charge it up via your computer. Okay. You also get your legs, landing legs, and prop guards and a tool. Screwdriver to put it all together. And this one. You also get a four gigabyte SD card. And the SD card reader, so that's pretty neat that they include that. And here is your um, cable for the monitor down here. I'll, I'll grab that in a minute. And here is the 720p FPV camera, guys. It's uh, tiltable. It's a. Uh, it's got the little uh, antenna on the side here, omnidirectional, to relay the signal back to the monitor and a plug that goes into the drone, so it's powered by the uh, quadcopter here. All right, it also has the SD card slot to record your flights with that four gigabyte card that I just showed you a second ago. And it just, uh, it detaches onto the bottom of the quad, which I'll show in a minute. And here is the FPV monitor, guys. This has a sun shield on it. And I can turn it on with a I already charged this up guys, so you can turn it on here via the uh, on and off switch. And it wants to pair to the quad, so I'll show that in a second. It comes with a little dipole antenna here. Just there, and um, that's basically it guys. It's got a little slot here to slot onto your phone mount. So here's the Liddy RC quadcopter guys. Looks really nice in the uh, metallic red. It's like a candy apple sort of uh, red here. Get a little Liddy RC logo on the top. It's a little bit smaller than the uh, X5C shape. I already uh, put the camera mount on there earlier. You've got your on and off switch there and the plug for the camera. It has a 650 milliamp hour one cell guys. So uh, it should give it a pretty good flight time, probably about eight, nine minutes, I'm guessing. I'll test that out in the field very soon in the second part of this video with the uh, standard white plug that comes with the um, SEMA versions. So if you've got heaps of uh, X5C um, LiPos, you can easily use it in this uh, quadcopter, which is great. I like ones with uh, common batteries. Uh, that you can use on other quads. I don't really like those proprietary ones too much. So that's basically the look of the uh, the quadcopter guys. 
So this is the um, FPV camera mounted to the bottom of the quad, guys. It just connects via those two little uh, little arms there onto the mounting plate. Very easy to do. And you just plug the, uh, the cable in. Well, okay, guys, I'm going to go charge that LiPo up in the quad, put some batteries in, and we'll take it for a test run. See how good the FPV range is and the flight range as well. So stick around for the on-field flight test. Okay, guys, I'm down here at the field with the little uh, Liddy RC L15HF. Um, I just want to show you quickly the FPV screen on this. You put it on via the little uh, alligator clip. So what I noticed about this FPV monitor when I'd done a quick test of it at home before coming out here to the field is that it seems like it only has one channel that is only suited to this quadcopter. So I'll quickly uh, turn the quadcopter on. And it's, and it's trying to pair up there. So there you go, guys. Uh, there's a visual from the the camera, the 720p FPV camera on the uh, quadcopter. And um, you can use the controls here because it does have an SD card in it. You can just press this to record and take photos, which is pretty cool. You've got a brightness switch here, a couple of buttons here. And the view one, I'd say, is to see your recorded video or snapshot so yeah this um monitor just seems like it's only paired up to this quadcopter because i did try it out on one of my other fpv um cameras and it didn't pick up anything so um i'll take you quickly through the controller uh obviously you got your on and off switch you've got the uh left trimmer here this one is for photos and videos so you press up for a photo and down for a video but i'll be doing it from these buttons here instead it's a bit easier uh, you got three rates of speed up the top here that one there you have a short press to turn on and off the lights with this button here if you hold it down for a couple of seconds it will engage headless mode on this side if you short press this button it is a one key to rise so one key to take off and a long press is a one key return okay and you also got the flip on this side for the 3D flips. So other than that, you got your other trim buttons here and it's pretty much a basic controller. Okay guys, powering it on. Powering the FPV system on. It's pairing up. Quick up and down on the control. Okay, now to um, start the motors on this one, you just hold the throttle up see just like that and to turn it down you just hold it down so I'll do that again you just hold it up let go and it starts all right so I'm going to start the stopwatch let's go for a flight so auto takeoff the lights are flashing on the quad Getting good visual from the, uh, should start a recording actually, I'll start the recording. Getting good visual from the FPV screen. Put in rate 3. Okay, so it's got about a... 70 meter range I'd say it did break up a bit then guys send it out again it's made past the cricket pitch towards the end of the field so yeah I'd say about 80 meter range of FPV with this one Oh boy. And it flew away from me. <laughs> I 
I think it landed. I hope it did. Looks like it's in a tree here, guys. So, had no control there. I can see visual here <laughs> where um, it's uh, on the ground. So, luckily for me, it's uh, had a bit of a flyaway then. It just wanted to go up. It's got an altitude hold and uh, just wanted to keep going up. So I'm lucky for me, it is on the ground here, guys. I'll just uh, run towards it. That was a close call, got pretty high up that tree. So um, yeah, keep this thing pretty close, guys. Okay, I was way over there, about 100 meters away from where it landed. Ah, the FPV camera has come off. Alright guys, I found it underneath this tree, um, which was quite easy. I found the quad as you could see before, but this detached from the uh, quad, the FPV camera came loose and it took me quite a while to find it amongst all this uh, needle, needle grass here. Um, ended up finding it just tucked into this... Uh, recess of this trunk of the tree the tree root so all right so as i was saying um you know that's about 100 meters away i'd say don't fly it more than say 70 meters away because i did lose signal then guys and i was trying to bring it back and i saw it going towards those trees and i had no control whatsoever it was actually just raising up and flying away so I'd say the limitations of this quad so far is, uh, you know, 70, 80 meters at the most. So just be mindful of that from my little, uh, my little issue there. <laughs> Learn from this review. <laughs> uh, all right, so I'm going to continue to um, fly this thing. It's picking up a fair bit of wind now, but uh, we'll see how it goes. I was using this screen. I kept it on because it had the last image that. Uh, the camera left when it, when it got unplugged so if that ever happens to you keep your screen on don't turn it off and that sort of helped me sorry about the wind that sort of helped me find where it was okay so I'm just going to keep it in close range for the remainder of this review okay I learned my lesson just then Okay, this is a good place. I'll just uh, fly around this area. Alright guys, so let's rebind this. Plugged it back in, the uh, camera. Up, down, okay, turn the monitor on. I did use a bit of power, it's down to two bars now by looking for the uh, camera in the, in the ground there along the ground there so let's uh, start another recording okay so throttle up and let go make sure I'm in rate 3 okay I'll keep it close quarters it's a nice flying quadcopter it's just um, keep it in close range Nice looking quadcopter too. The lights are always flashing on the back by the look of it. On this one, that's not an LVC warning. All right, so. Let's try a flip. Okay, so you get the three beeps for a flip. Nice quick flips on it close towards me because there's a bit of wind okay so it has got altitude hold which is fluctuating a bit with this wind So 
the got a 720p camera on it. Try to take some uh, turn that recording off. tends to dip a little bit with this wind see that on full pitch and then once you let go it levels out see, that? see how it's diving towards the ground there and then it raises up okay so what I might do is uh, we'll try ahead less quickly I didn't, oh, I used the wrong button. Okay, I'll, what I might do is just try headless quickly. Yeah, and that's working. Come back towards me, so. okay I'll just land it for a second. Pretty light quadcopter, so you got to be um, a bit careful in this wind. As you can see that uh, those flags over there are blowing quite a bit. Okay, so I've done a gyro calibration there by two sticks to the left and down and then you can turn it off all right so um turn the uh, fpv system on again start recording yep so I'll just test the functions of the uh one key return and then the landing before this battery runs out So one key returns a long press. Got uh, taken by the wind a bit. Oop. Turn by holding this button. It's not really working too good in the wind here. It's not a bad little quadcopter. I'd say fly it in a more uh, less windy day. Gets blown around a bit. As you can see, but the image on the uh, the image on the screen is pretty good. I'm just hovering up there for a minute, but it dips a lot. I've noticed. See when you give it full pitch, he just wants to dip. It's a bit, uh, that's a very long dip down just by holding it forward for a few seconds, you know, and then it'll just even out. So, in that way, it's a little bit difficult to fly, you know, you've got to really lean out taken off a bit so with the wind so yeah guys uh, you know it's got too much of a pitch on it 
of that. <laughs> and that will end up in a little uh, soft crash there. So, yeah, uh, maybe it's a good one for more indoor flying or. So yeah, it's either a real, you know, you have to, it's a calm day flyer or a indoors flyer, I'd, I'd suggest, guys, because it is super light and um, gets taken by the wind quite easily. So, I've pretty much run through the options so far. And that's pretty much it, guys. Uh, I was going to try to do a few flips and that, but... Um, that's the battery life. So um, I'll stop the recording here. Turn everything down. Turn everything off here. So um, yeah, it's not a bad quad, but um, it's got flyaway issues, guys. So that's that's one key that I'd, I'd like to mention. Um, at the start of this video, you can see that I've got about 80 meters away roughly I was bringing it back down that way and uh, it just took off towards that road over there through the trees and uh, luckily for me I mean this is a maiden flight review luckily for me it fell through those trees down to the ground so I could retrieve it and I did have to look for the uh, camera because that does detach off rather easy so um look i'd recommend that it's an indoor flyers guys or absolutely no wind just keep it close to to where you are don't fly it too far away it flies pretty good pretty much like an x5 uh just on a smaller scale it is a lot lighter and um yeah the uh fpv signal was good on the screen even when it uh, took off a bit there I still had good visual um, the camera seems okay as well the 720p camera we'll see in um, when I go to edit the video what it does look like it seemed pretty good on the uh, FPV screen a nice picture um, other than that uh, I don't really like how it pitches towards the ground with uh, very little uh, forward pitch uh, you just hold it down as you're flying for you know a couple of seconds and it just wants to dive bomb so anyways I'd like to thank RC moment for providing this Liddy RC L15 HF for review today it comes with the monitor 5.8 gigahertz FPV system so I'll leave a link and coupon code in the description if you do want to check this one out guys okay so till then Happy flying, enjoy the hobby, and I'll catch you on the next one. Thanks for watching the review, guys. Bye for now.